if it didn't, do something fun for you. Yeah. You know? And so I was just on the still we're going to Texas for the eclipse. Oh, I see it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Um, I, I'm going to Texas and oh my God, my son is looking left and right to find a place with a little clearing. And Sue feels, and I'm feeling too, we're going to do You're most benevolent. I think we're going to find, because we paid to be in this one part of Texas where they have uh, parking and food trucks. That's the place I want to go. But uh, my son found another spot where we don't know where we would go. The parks, you can't get in unless you have a reservation. And they're all full. I mean, it's going to be kind of madhouse. I feel like the skies are going to open for you guys. You know, the clouds are going to part. You're going to hear the angels sing. You're going to look up. You're going to see it. And then it's going to close. <laughs> and then you're going to be like, let's go get some food. <laughs> <laughs> and it's supposed to really be the afternoon, but we'll be back and nice and cozy in our rooms. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Then you then you can relax. You saw it. You did it. You got it. And you don't have to be out there with the crazies. Because can right. you imagine if you could see that for like an hour or two with crazy Texans and God knows who all is coming as well. Uh, I think it's better to just see it, have your divine moment. I just see you having a divine moment. Well, uh, listen, when I, I took the boys just thinking, yeah, let's go see the. I did it to kind of be... Uh, the one that paid for everything to make sure they got there. I was the driver, you know, blah, blah, blah. And when it happened, it was so profound. Wow. It was such an exhilarating experience. Wow. I told my son, Jake, I need to go again. Spirit's not going to let you down, girl. Okay, thank you. Spirit now, is not going to let you down. Are you going to look for it yourself? Yeah, I mean, I have, I don't have total whatever. I'm not in the path, but I'm, you know, like one line over. So, yeah, I'm going to be in my backyard going, you know, hopefully not what Trump did. Not, you know, I got oh, hopefully yeah. not going to do that, you know. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to. You guys gonna, already have glasses? Do you have the glasses? Yeah. Yep. Have glasses and uh, maybe have some friends over. I don't know. I haven't really decided. The energy is so intense. With this eclipse, you guys, I mean, let's face it, uh, Bedminster done got themselves a, an earthquake and the Statue of Liberty was struck by lightning. Uh, you know, and MTG says spirits are angry. The gods are angry. And she's one. Oh, guess sacrifice. what? They just announced that she got rid of that. That uh, that 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 tweet. Yeah. Well, you know, because scientists were writing back saying scientists um, were terrible. You realize that earthquakes are in the natural course on the earth. And eclipses, can you can count the eclipses. They don't just appear out of the blue. Yeah, yes. We can tell you years in advance. She had to remove it because I think she was thinking about sacrificing Speaker Johnson to the gods. You know, yeah. she was trying to drag right. him up to some, or some volcano and toss his butt in. Because that's about where she, you know. Right. But I'm grateful. I'm grateful to be with my son, my nephew, my son's girlfriend. Good people will probably find good food because there's good food in Texas. There's good food down here. Yeah. It's just yeah. dealing with the crowds, but we'll carry our patients with us. You'll figure it out. You're going to zig when everybody else I'm going to wear there. my long shawl and say, a plague <laughs> on both your houses. <laughs> do you know who I am? So we look yeah. like, what Please hell? do it. Please get video. <laughs> so I can be on that show, Cams, that police department have. They do that show. Oh, that show's good, girlfriend. The body cams. Oh, oh god. my God. Edge of my seat. What these police officers go through. Oh the fact god. that they really, I think the body cams help the, the ones that were going to be kind of mean. But mostly, they do everything in their power to try to maintain the situation. Right. It gives the public a sense of the kind of daily stress that they go through, anxiety that they go through. Yeah. Wow. Well, I just want to say before we get started, I got my copy of the book. Thank you so uh, much for sending it to me. I have I read it. I got it before a lot of people did. I got the paperback and I read it and I loved it. And I, I texted you and I gave it to my friend. I have a little a quick little story. I gave it to a good friend of mine and and I sent you a hard copy, right? Yeah, yes. And you you did a reading with her. She's been waiting. She got me, but no, she ain't. She like, uh, uh. I got as soon as Linda G opened us, she was like, 
She was like, Susan, I got in on Linda G. April 1st. I'm like, that's awesome. So she waited and waited and waited. And unfortunately, in that time frame, her husband passed away. And she said, I knew this was all supposed to happen for a reason. And we have such a great story about you and him. This guy's retired Air Force military. He kind of looked at her like, okay, you watching that crazy? You listening? It's okay. I'm not going to pay no attention to what yeah. you're doing. And then she heard one day your voice. She was watching you. But she heard your voice like in stereo. So she was like, I know spirit is strong, but what is going on here? You know? So she goes looking through the house. There's her husband watching on his iPad. He watching you. And he's like, oh, he's. Did, I, did I end up reading her April 1st? Did I end up reading her? Or did yes, she have. To yes, yes. Her name I was think I, he told me this story. Yeah. Yes. And he would, he was like, hoo, 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 you know, in his man voice, like laughing. And it got to, so, so she called him out. She said, you're watching my girl, aren't you? And she, he said, yes, I love her. So, yeah, that you know, is so funny. He was a huge fan of yours. Um, and, uh, and you were able to bring him through and you gave her so much information and so much understanding and clarity. And that's why those readings are so important. So thank you for helping my friend. Oh, thank you. Um, and you know, I only do two readings a day. If I could, I've got about five yeah, pages you, of, you get a cancellation, but five I have to spread them out so I can give people what they need. Well, you just helped her so much. She's a so huge listen, fan. We have Ireland in the house. We have Australia in the house. Nice. How's everybody doing? It's Saturday. Thank you, what? Desiree. Desiree said she already read her, her book. Absolutely. It's a great book. You got like, I you saw I saw you had like eighty reviews. Now you got ninety nine. You probably got a hundred by now. I mean, I you got a whole I lot like of reviews. reviews. Was it pretty good? Oh my god, it was great. I love this book. As a matter of fact, the part I the one thing there were so many stories that stuck with me. But for whatever reason, and I want to also say it's on page one eleven. How do you make that stuff up? Is okay. the is the flight attendant when you were flying and the flight attendant. Um, was, you know, just giving you whatever, a soda, whatever. And, and you yeah, saw her class and you Linda. were like, oh. Called, it was first class and they asked permission to use your first name. And she said, Miss Linda, is there anything? And her father was standing right there. And I begged him to go because I do not like, I'm not a Teresa Caputo that allows anybody to come into, you know, when I'm doing my thing, especially if I'm getting ready to chow, don't be messing with me. Get ready to chow, get ready to eat. Spirits, no, don't bother me if I'm getting ready to dig into some chocolate cream pie. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm saying I, I'll turn sorry. into a demon. Get away from me. So, so she's, and I said, I'm known as a, I, I just was just, just tight as a drum. I said, I'm known as a psychic medium. And I have to tell you, your father is standing here and he wants me to tell you that your sister is going to be okay. And I looked down like that because I figured she was going to say, I don't have any idea what you're talking. I don't have a sister or something or my dad's still alive and well in Tennessee because she had a real draw. And um, she said, Miss Linda. And I said, yes. And I looked up and she said, you see this scarf? She said, that's my daddy's scarf. And yes, my mama and I are very worried about my sister. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. It gave her a lot of peace. So I wasn't so mad at him after that. But he was on a flight. He was wow. there. He was there. And she was wearing her daddy's scarf. She was the book. Daddy's scarf. Yeah. The book, Unveiling the Extraordinary on Amazon. It's 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 awesome. I, I can't Thank think you. of the the the, well, those, the you know, people were asking me what's your game plan for marketing. I, I'm I'm just leaving it. I'm not a marketing person. It's rolling on its own, girl. It's, it's, it's got its own. It's rolling on its own. And if people want it and word of mouth, that'll happen. You know, uh, the audio is being done as we speak. Tana's oh, nice. Doing the audio, because while she was here, I did it with her. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Lisa, did you, Ness, did you hear that? The, audi the audible is being done as we it's are speaking. Being done. And, and Tana said she has not done an audible yet. But she's so smart in figuring things out. Oh, you know, nice. she did that. We had it on, what did you call it? E something or oh, like an ebook? Uh huh. We had that, but 
it was all offset. Some something happened, and it's something to do with Apple computer versus this and that. So she's working on that too. But oh, okay. this particular book, we're going to have a second printing because there were it got cut off on the uh, like my last poem. It, they cut the author's author's name off, and my story about my girlfriend who died of leukemia. Half that story is not in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it needs to be, there were some mistakes. And so we're going to fix it up. Fortunately, most of my peoples, they understand. We understand. We got the original copy. We This okay. is the first edition. First edition. First edition. Okay. Thanks everybody for joining us. I see a lot of readers in here. Kevin Healing Medium, Kevin 11 Vibrations. God only knows. And thank you to the moderators. Thanks everybody for coming. And Hi, let's get Karen. started. Hi, Ness. A lot of yep. good peoples. A lot of good people. Karen Sipe, yep. A lot of good people. So are we talking politics today, Linda? What are we doing? Uh, yeah. Um, I did a nice little show with Andre yesterday. I don't know if you got a chance. Oh, I love him. He's so cool. He's that, awesome. You know, love, you know, love Andre. I think it was, I don't know the psychic that had him on. It might have been Debbie because I met Tom T. Moore from Debbie. Uh, uh, and I met, um, I believe Andre and he really caught my interest because he was saying, you see how Trump gets away with everything. Well, mark my words, come this Hi, Thank you, Robert. Come this and this it's going to get tough. So yesterday we had the great news that Andre saying, Oh, it's going to get tough. He gave me specific dates. I think like, April 18th on, it's really bad, but it's really bad in June. That's what I saw. That's what I, sorry, I get a little excited. <laughs> That's exactly what I saw. June, June, June. Why, why, why? Well, now we know because Andre, the astrologer says June is it. The gig is up. What's what I hear? The gig is up. Yeah. So I, I mean, when he says something, I believe it, girlfriend. Yeah. Take it to the bank. Same thing about you, girl. <laughs> what you say? Yeah, I take I it to the too. Just is afraid about Lauren Boebert. Uh, she's not going to win, you guys. She's not going to win. No. They, they I were feel saying sorry yesterday. for her. She's going down energetically. She's going down. There, I think the Republican Party is going to Cawthorn her. Cawthorn Santos her. They're going to, you know, so the, the rumor is that she was at the holiday party during the Republican thing. Yeah maybe a little too much tipsy tipsy and trying to get too many selfies with 45 and his bodyguards or whoever was he like, asked them. He asked them, can you get her out of my life? Go sit down. You know, yeah, she, she's not well. I mean, I know she had a health issue too, but I just think she's out. She she's out. She, she's not going to be able to hang. Yeah. Her. Kevin healing is on. Yay. Good to see you. Great crowd. I don't think it's Canada getting uh visual on the eclipse. The Eastern. I think it goes. Okay. Uh, uh, like catches the Eastern part of Canada. My son said, if it's not that great when we go, I'm just happy. I'm just happy to go and be with the kids. And, you know, it's just, it's kind of an adventure. And, um, I, my son said, Mom, if we don't catch it, I'll probably take Pink and his girlfriend to Spain. Oh, wow. And I guess it's going to be a full eclipse in Spain. So we wow. shall see. Wow. That'd be awesome. Wouldn't that be amazing? Oh, and yeah. Kevin's loving vibration. Both Kevins Hi, are Kevin. here. Everybody is Kevin here. loving, Kevin healing. We got the Kevins in the house. Got the Kevins in the house. Great so leader. where do we where are we going, you guys? Should we ask our crowd here what to ask? Yeah, let's ask. Let's ask. Put your questions. You know what? Oh, thank God! I was going to say I didn't bring my cards. Here they are. Always nearby. I know we're so tired uh, of, of the of the orange guy. He's really going to get out of our hair. We we have a lot to deal with though. We have Flynn. We have a lot of you know just crazy nut jobs that we're just going to have to deal with. And all um, the stuff he's planning, all these terrible people to come in and put our lives and, and arrest our president and do all this stuff. None of that's going to happen. None of that is going to happen. And you know what I saw in my video, one of my videos, I saw Putin put his hands on his head and shake his head and almost like telling the staff of Trump, get him to shut up. 
<laughs> That's what I heard. Because even though China and Russia would love to have him, and also Trump is working behind closed doors with Netanyahu, mark my words. I Jeremy agree. And Trump. Anyway, I agree. he's saying um, they're trying to, to put fake news and everything, but when Trump opens his mouth, he blows everything. He blows everything. Do you know when he went on his little true social and he said, uh, buy the stock, buy the true social stock. It's great. Uh, that put him in, at risk for be an FEC or an SEC uh, crime. That's a crime. When you have a stock that's being, you know, published, you can't go on and say, unless it's true, you can't say this stock is going to sell really quickly. He is, he's got a lawsuit just on that. You're right. He opens his mouth. Look what he did with Eugene Carroll. He opens right. his mouth and he digs his own hole deeper and deeper. So that's funny that you saw Putin basically saying, for the love of God, somebody shut him up, shut him up, shut him up. Because I, do you think that more is going to be discovered between Putin and Trump? Oh, yeah. Especially when Putin goes down. Putin's days are numbered. I Putin's agree. Putin's going down because um, he's, and then a lot of stuff's going to come out. He, do, he They will find out he has tapes on. He got tapes on everybody. Everybody. And then that Robert K Kennedy Jr., you guys, he's a nothing burger. I don't want you to worry about him. If he takes votes, it's from Trump. Because he's talking about uh, letting all the January 6th insurrectionists off. And, oh, oh, and forget about the the... The, the vaccines, but in the meantime, I do heroin for years. So, you know, take care of your body. Just do heroin. Don't get the vaccines. Don't get the vaccine, right? Wow. And you know what? I think we all told you guys no labels was no worry. And no labels and is now I out. Said that too, yeah. We told you guys not to worry about them. And now they just folded. So a lot of the I things. Think, that, uh, uh, the that gentleman dying, what was his name? I think that kind of put a. Oh, he right. Died. I don't. I can't think of his name. But yeah. He ran with somebody for president. Yes. You think that had something to do with it? Uh, I think, yeah. I think him dying. Okay. Somebody just said something kind of interesting. Rose Blue. Ukraine. Okay. Captured, Ukraine captured our U forts in Crimea. Naval Admiral went to a dinner. Went home and passed in his sleep. I saw reports RU Navy protested in Crimea. They know it wasn't an accident. Oh, hell no. At least he fell asleep and went to, you know, and didn't fall out of a ship window or something. <laughs> uh, Kathy wants to know, do we see uh, Netanyahu being, uh, let me tell you something, Netanyahu's going down. Absolutely guaranteed. He's going down. That he's going down and he's going to do something else. I don't know if it's hitting. I don't even know if he goes to try to hit Iran and hit somebody else, but he's going to do something else. Right now, he's acting like he's going to follow the lead on Biden. But like President uh, Clinton said, you can talk to that guy for hours and hours and he nods his head and then he just turns around and does what does he wants. Whatever he wants. Apparently, Biden did get him. Because he, he's letting three more uh, things of aid come in to Gaza. So whatever Biden said to him got some, but I agree with you. It's like, he he's like, okay, I'll be nice. And then I think you're right. He's going to do something else. This just really agrees just like really crosses a line. And right. people are going to be like, that's it. That well, is you it. guys, this is from me and entertainment purposes only. But I really feel that, that hit with those, those, World Kitchen people was deliberate. It's the end. Oh Thank yeah, you, it's the end. Thank you, Bronx. I agree. It was deliberate, and that's the end. That was the end. That was he crossed. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. Thank you, Swami. Thank you, Swami. You know, and I kept telling people he's going to do something stupid. He's going to do something so stupid that even Biden has to step forward. Yeah, even Biden's more dumb than old school. He's trying to hold on to our relationship. But that with that guy, that's not a relationship. That's no. a, a, a dictator. Yes. And let me tell you, the people in that country want him out. Yes. And, you know, he even said that they were looking to have a vote in September. I think he told Netanyahu, you don't you lay off and you better do this or that. 
or the United States will encourage your people to have a vote in September because he knows they'll lose. Well, well, talking about that, I mean, do you see, when do you see Netanyahu stepping down or being removed? Do you see a vote? I in think September? before the end of the year. Right. So there could be a vote in September. I see maybe even something in August. I don't know if they could move it up, but God, but it needs to be moved up. Again, time frames aren't very good for me, but he's I mean, going to be charged with crimes against humanity. I, I feel the hate will probably come in and there's stuff going on, you know, like Putin's already on their list, the naughty boy list, but he hides from them. Yeah. And I gather Netanyahu was is already have crimes against him. And that's one of the reasons why he's in office. It's something about fraud or money. So once he gets out of office, he's a little bit like Trump, right? He's mm -hmm. going to be at the mercy of the court system. Um it's a terrible, terrible situation. Yeah. Really and really. Thank you. Hi, Pamela. Hi, um, uh, our girls here. Where is she? Deanne. Oh, Deanne Shield Maiden's here. Okay, cool. Yeah. Hey, Deanne. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Jeffrey. The party. Everybody's here. It's Linda this shows where up. It's it's happening, you, guys. you know what I'm saying? This is the party place. This is the party place. I so already have my one cup of coffee. I can only have a cup of coffee a day. If I even try to have a, a, another cup of coffee, um, I'll get I'll get sick. Oh, really? Your stomach? Whoops. That's me talking. <laughs> I'll get sick. Have you guys heard that there were some, was it Republicans that wanted to name the airport after Trump? And two Democrats said, well, we'll we're going to put forth a motion to name the Miami Correctional Facility after Trump. I love it. I love it. These Dems have it. finally got it together and they're finally zinging back. You know, they're not just yeah. rolling over and acting like, you know, you know, like a rug or something. It's definitely like, going to. There's a squirrel being chased by a crow out there. I uh -oh. think the squirrel's going to win. So, yeah, there's definitely um, uh, oh both God. those cases, both the trying to name something. Because he's not going to win, I'm telling you right now. I know it. I know it even stronger than I knew it in 2020. How the about you? One. Right, right. How about you? Same thing. Same, Same. thing. It, it's a foregone conclusion. The, the only thing I think that's up for discussion is how many seats. Thank you, Carol. Thank you. Um, how many how many seats are we going to win? Like I see us keeping the house, I see us uh, getting the Senate. Yeah. Um, but where it gets fuzzy is how much majority? Do you think we're going to have like a two seat majority in the house, or do you feel like it's going to be bigger than that? It fit. You know why? Because the the, the I think it's going to be bigger because Ooh, all right because of women's issues. Yes, they awoken the sleeping giant. Yes. And women, look at all these special elections. Who's winning? Democrats. Even yeah. that judge in Wisconsin, they, they tried to turn around and said, well, no, she didn't win. Yes, yeah, she did. She yeah. legally won. And listen, the Supreme Court, I'm not quite sure when. I don't know, Susan, when you said. But the Supreme Court will come back and say Trump does not qualify for immunity. But are they going to wait till June? They're, they, you know they are. I mean, that's the last minute, like they close their doors in June. They're going to wait to the last minute for nothing else. It, it gives him that long delay of, of but nothing. I also see them hustle to try to get this. I think, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, Andre even said they could even do a court case on this in October and not even care, whatever. Somebody did say we were going to move forward. Didn't Chutkin say we're going to move forward? Somebody said, we're going to go ahead and move yeah, forward. We're, just whatever. Not going to we're just, we're going to move forward. We and have people to move would be forward. pissed off at the Supreme Court for doing that. I'm almost feeling, and I don't know what your feeling was. I'm almost feeling like something's going to happen that Biden packs the court with two more. I agree. Yeah. When and do that you feel like the old school. He doesn't want to do that. But I see know. like there'd be so much pressure. He has to. He'll he put just, two more in. He has to. It's just like Netanyahu. I want to do this the right, the nice way. I want us all to get along. But if people are going to be crazy and not, you know, do the right thing, you just need to do what you need to do. So I think he's going to do that. I think he's going to expand the court. 
for sure. Okay. I just don't think it's going to be this year. I think we just have to get through this year the way we're going to get through it. But I mean, spirit is helping. It's not like um, we have help here. Justice is really moving forward. It's slow, but it's moving forward. He's going to be on the stand with a criminal case next week. Yeah. Next week, y'all, he's going to be on the stand in a criminal case. Oh, so he's going wacko over that, isn't he? <laughs> God only knows what he's going to do between now and then. You know he's going to do something crazy. You know, here's the thing. His numbers just stay steady. He just has his base, and that's it. Oh, thank you, Uma. Thank you. And people are asking me, when will this corruption within his base, these people are like robots. When will that finally yeah. come down? And I'm feeling like him being gone. So either he loses and he takes off to another country or he he visits the Royal Highness on the other side. But I'm almost feeling like people are start to wake up then. Like, yeah. wait a second, wait a second. And a lot of stuff. Don't think just, be, oh, thank you, Chantel. Just don't think just because um, he loses, it's they're going to keep going. You know, Jack Smith, you guys, definitely that Florida one that I think he's going to get that gal removed. Yes. But he did is give, going. He didn't give her everything. So if she blows this. He still has a whole bunch of records that he can charge files on. And yes. by the time he does that, she's out of the picture. Yes, I agree. And she's about to be out of the picture. I, I don't see her around. She'll be gone by August. Okay. I mean, she, she will be gone this summer. Um, he just has to wait for the right moment to strike. You, you only get one chance. Well, He's the January 6th, is this the one we're waiting for immunity on, the January 6th trial? No, that's I think that's trial. Chuck, and I think that's the D.C. trial. Okay. I so, can't keep them straight, but. But but the January 6th trial well, is, is the one Jack know. Smith is doing. Jack, that's right. Doing that's right. That's January right. 6th. That's right. And, he didn't pull in all the other insurrectionists. He's focusing on Trump mm -hmm. for a reason. So what will happen is after he gets him guilty, Your Honor, he's going to hit at Jenny Thomas. Yes, he all is. All those people. Marjorie Taylor. All those people are going to go all those down people. for insurrection. All those people. That's exactly right. He knew he needed to just laser focus on Trump and get that done. And once that's out of the way, then he's going to go back and get all those people. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. For sure. Um, do you think uh, somebody asked us, let me see. Somebody asked us about boots on the ground. I think that was Carol Lamb. Carol Lamb said, uh, "Do will the U.S. have boots on the ground in Gaza? I, I think UN, peacekeepers. I don't know I if I see. Peacekeepers. I don't I, see military. Do you I see don't see our there? military there. No. 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 You you in it has to be unilateral. The guides are saying it has to be like everybody, the French, you know, Egypt, Jordan, everybody's gonna have to have a, a stake in this piece for it to yeah. be real. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and also he Netanyahu is gonna be in big trouble. I'm gonna tell you right now. He's yeah, gonna be in trouble you. for uh doing something against humanity, crimes against humanity. Yeah. I think so too. He's worried about an independent overseer of what happened with that bombing. I'm telling you right now, that was deliberate. I'm telling you. It was a hundred percent deliberate. But when you say deliberate, what their excuse is, we thought we saw through the grainy, swear to God, through the grainy video of a drone, somebody come out of the warehouse with a gun. That's why we did it. Um, one person with a Gun gets in a three car caravan of, you know, and it eight. could have been a bodyguard for those people. It could have been. I mean, but that's worthy of. Killing and they let them know where they, they were going to be. They told them. That's why I said this was planned, and because they hit them when they told them where they were going to be. But the other thing is, I've got a little intel. I can't say it's a hundred percent, but this person wrote me from inside of. Israel and said that actually Netanyahu and the rest of them are kind of laughing about this. Initially, they were like, yeah, we want the Palestinian people to starve. 
That's what I, that's what I, she said. Well, I, he has said similar things. He has said he wants to remove them all. I mean, he's been pretty public about his uh, craziness. Really. Um, let's switch gears. Uh, somebody wants to know about Sotomayor, Justice Sotomayor. I oh. don't see this. I mean, do you see? I mean, I know she has health issues, but I don't see her step down. probably down. step down, but not. I see her let. Biden's coming in again. Yes. Right. Then. Because Justice Thomas and the other one, Alioto or Al, Alito. Yeah, Alito. Uh huh. He's got problems. These guys are all going. Yes. She's a diabetic. Right. You She's know, I'm, I'm a diabetic. So you're right. going to get rid of me as a psycho because I'm diabetic, you know. <laughs> and you that's, can live that's within the bounds as long as you eat right. Excuse me while I get a donut. <laughs> so uh, as long as you eat right, you're cool, you know. Right. I, I think oh, that Andre, a lot of this is disinformation, you guys. People are starting rumors to make us all crazy and make us all in fear. I don't see it. Well, they're coming off the roof. Bader Ginsburg thing. They asked her to step down while Obama was in office. And she really was looking forward to having Hillary Clinton as president. And the first female president put her in office. She tried her damnedest to stay alive and she just couldn't. Yeah. But it's a little premature for Justice Sotomayor. I mean, she, there was a big difference in their health. I mean, I think Thomas looks worse than her. Thomas looks terrible. I mean, Really terrible. Anyway, um, yeah, so I don't, I just don't see it. I think we're going to hold true. I think the first people off the court is going to be Thomas, Alito. Um, you know, there's energy. What do you feel about Roberts? I, what is Roberts? Well, uh, Roberts is not well either. And, but yeah, the one I see on? there's a, a, a hearing about is Kavanaugh. Oh, okay. I feel like they're going to come in and make these people say where they got their money. They're going to, you know, what's his name? Shelton Whitehouse? Yes, yes. He's on yes. this like flies or something, oh, but good. he's coming to deaf ears and there's not a, pretty soon there'll be enough people to say, yeah, tell us more about how Kavanaugh got millions of dollars. That's right. Something yeah. with Kavanaugh is coming up. Okay, good, good. And, and maybe that makes him step down, you know, rather than stay in the kitchen that gets too hot. And yeah. I think Jenny getting investigated is going to what is going to make Thomas step down for the same reason. He does have some health issues. Thomas does, but he's so stubborn. He's like McConnell, right? Like he really wants Trump not going to step down. He'll step down if Trump won. Oh right, yeah. Uh, Thomas will step down if Trump won. Yeah, you think? if Trump wins, Alito and Thomas will both step down. And they'll go to the Federalist Society to fill those seats. Well, we're we're gonna we're gonna make sure that doesn't happen. That's not gonna happen. He, they're gonna step down because Jack Smith is gonna be staring at him. <laughs> oh yeah. When remember, I years ago when I was reading on this, I often thought either Thomas isn't feeling well when you know because Biden's still gonna be in office, and he's almost forced to step down because of his wife. That's what I saw. Yeah. And you know he doesn't want to, but they need to because they're going to get investigated and it's going to just, it's going to put so much shame and pressure on that court. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. that Because I did read that Bernie Sanders' office was burned down, but the arsonist sprayed an accelerant in the foyer, which was engulfed. Nobody hurt office intact. Okay. Listen, Great. we're going to get a lot of this, especially when Biden wins again, but there will be no civil war. I want you to know that because they don't have jets and tanks. It's not, we, we're not, you know, with those old rifles that you use, you can't have a civil war. Right. That's right. I agree. I agree. And I did see, I know that Bernie doesn't always agree with Biden. I mean, Bernie doesn't agree with the, you know, Democrat establishment, but I saw this great ad from Bernie and Biden talking about how Trump was talking to his people saying, you guys are all rich because of me. I got you the biggest tax breaks. And they played Trump saying that and then Bernie and Biden are roasting him. So there's just, this is a different world that we're living in now, right? Oh, this I don't forget I together. Putin put his hands on his head yeah. like somebody shut him up. 
shut him up. Well, maybe Putin will shut him up. Yeah. In some so way. that's good news. I hadn't even heard the rumor that Bernie's office was burnt down. So it was not burnt down. Yeah. I mean, it, but you, you make a good point. This kind of stuff is going to, because Trump, you know, stochastic terrorism, you know, he suggests things and then the, the loony bin in your local community goes off and does something. And it's hard to trace it back to Trump. You know what I mean? It's it's right. it's really crazy. Um, what else do we have going on here? Do you see any more uh, earthquakes? You know, like the New York earthquake. I know you've been talking about earthquakes for a while now. Yeah, that one. That one uh, is not it, everybody. You know, like Marjorie Taylor Greene, earthquakes are God. No, earthquakes happen. That that particular place. It was a big one, and it shocked people who weren't me. That's what I was seeing. Y'all Californians were like, California's like, that's not even going to make me stop eating my cereal. Whatever. If we hear under five, we're not eating. It's a nothing burger. It's considered mild. But I'm not poo-pooing it. I, I do see significant earthquakes coming. Now, listen, the next one I see, which may or not be right, <laughs> feels Texas and Oklahoma. Oh, really? We have a lot of little earthquakes because of the fracking. Yeah. Uh, for a while there, Oklahoma was having them all the time. Yeah, they're having them all the time. Yeah, but they're like twos, twos and threes. I but, see it, you know. I see, but I see California girl is getting ready to get hit. Uh oh, and, and it feels more middle California. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mary. It feels more That's middle probably, California. Yeah, but and I feel towards the north. Hopefully, it's not Washington, but I feel Alaska. There was a good seven point something. Off the in the Pacific coast outside of Japan, but not near us. But still, that's the oh, thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. That's, that's, that, so that's that fire thing that's there, you know. Oh, the, the ring of fire, the ring, ring of, fire. of fire, and it was a good sized quake. So, yeah, it's I remember before, and I was kind of following earthquakes in 1989, if you can believe it, kind of noticing that we were having a lot of small quakes. And then we have the 6.9 Loma Prieta quake that caused the Bay Bridge to collapse. And, and, uh, but I had noticed things were, and I think things are getting very active. And you know, we're having a lot of solar flares too. We are having a lot of solar flares. Right. Do you see another one for the East Coast potentially? Yeah, more up yeah. towards the North though. Up towards the North. Like Not New York. Yeah. Yeah, everybody was so shocked. And even MSNBC was carrying it. I went through that 4.5. I My cameras took it. It was loud and it shook. And, you know, MSNBC didn't say a word about it. <laughs> and I was live on there with my bath towel running through the house screaming bloody murder. And nobody posted it. Not a, not a, a single comment. I'm just teasing you guys. <laughs> the visual was awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hair up in a towel. Sue said volcanic eruptions. I see if volcanic eruptions a good size happening. I I'm know. not feeling Yellowstone taking off yet. I'll tell you if I feel it. Yeah. Uh, Ness wants to know how is Trump feeling? I mean, you guys, it doesn't take a psychic, but uh, he, he's like a you, Linda always says rats jumping off the ship, right? Uh, except for that he can't swim, so he, he's not going to jump off the ship. He He's just going to run and eat his tail or something. I feel like he's gnawing on his tail or something crazy. Well, and the other thing, he's demanding total, people will kiss his butt and not mean it. You know how people are. Yeah. Very, very but good. he's really worried about money. And let me tell you something. Yeah. Letitia James is going to push that bond he did right out the yeah. door. Yes. So you think that money's not going to come through? Uh, not with this guy. He has no right to work in the, in New York. Number one, no. they said, and they and he has attorneys. He's paying sixty million for attorneys, and they didn't know you have to cross the T no. and dot the I's. No, they let this half shot. These people are looking at this paperwork, saying, "What the hell?" Right. Or or are they just used to getting away with it? Are you just used to throwing whatever, and nobody checks it? Nobody even checks their work. But now Tish James is checking their work and they're like, no, this is not oh, this, this is coming up next week, you guys, about this. I see her going to the judge. I see the person that's overseeing Trump's uh, money is 
this will That's not right. be accepted. It's going to be tossed out. It can't be accepted. It cannot be accepted. And that bank that is that he got the money from is in um, God. I don't know some tropical island, and they don't have rights to work in New York. You actually have to be, you know, accredited in New York to work. So they just threw the. They were like, "All oh, those rules don't apply to us." That is going to get thrown out. According okay. to Linda G and I agree it's going to get thrown yeah. out. Now, why is everybody asking about finding Williams, Williams and um, Willis and the wiretapping? I haven't heard anything about that. I haven't heard anything about that, but we can go into it. Um, I guess they wired. I guess you guys tell us more. I haven't heard that. I haven't um, heard anything. They're going to be hunting her nonstop. They're going to hunt like, like Hunter Biden. They're going to never let up. Once they get a little tiny piece of you, they just don't let go. But do you see her uh, having to recuse herself? No. Do you see I don't see her stepping down. Um, I see her like a Rottweiler. Yeah. Holding on and shaking it. And she's smarter. She's as smart as they think they are. She's a hundred times smarter, just like Tish James. Now, Fanny put herself in a bad position. She shouldn't be in this position, but she's in this position. She's having to work from like a, a disadvantage. She's in a disadvantage position. So they, she, she, they gave her, she gave them a little dirt. Now they're going to work that forever. They'll be talking about Fonnie Willis in 2050, you know? Yeah. But I don't see it. Dominica. Yes, Dominica. That's where the bank is. But also that guy has a connection to a Russian guy who has a connection to Putin. The money that Trump got, this is different money. The, to Putin? He got money to help uh, True Social because True Social was le losing all the money and he wanted it to go public and he needed to get $8 million to prop it up so they could go public. Okay. So he got this other loan. Um, and, uh, that guy has a connection, connection, like two degrees of separation. Yeah, to Putin can't straight out hand in the money. Cause yeah. slap it right. down. But here it is. And the guide said, whatever money he gets is going to be, is going to smack him back in the face. Whatever right. help he gets is going to be his worst nightmares. What the guide said. And here, Linda G is saying he's going to get that money taken away from him. I mean, it's, it's his yeah. worst nightmare. Well, you guys and I also him. feel like they might even, Associate it with some sort of fraud, and he comes under more charges for more charges for lying to the courts. More charges. Okay. Everybody's now, asking. Brooke, Brooke, there's two different things we're talking about here. There's there's money. There's bond money that he got to pay E. Jean Carroll because they reduced it, and then there's another set of money that they got for True Social. I know it's confusing. It's it's crazy confusing. But um, the money yeah. we're talking about is the bond uh, is the payment. The four it was four hundred twenty four million, and they brought it down to one hundred seventy five. And he gave them fake money. He gave them fake money, and 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 that's going to be. But there's also another bunch of money that he got from somebody for True Social, and that's being investigated as well. So all the money he gets, no matter where it comes from is tainted. It's tainted. And it's just like Linda says, there's going to be more charges. I think he's going to be long gone and they're still going to be putting charges against him. Well, he's already had to beg for money from different people. So he's not the billionaire he said he was. That's the hardest part for him. It's to show that he's not the big shot. He tried to act. Cause did you hear that story about his first wife? He was so broke. He was so broke. Before he ran for president, well, he got the apprentice after that, but he was telling his wife, you see that homeless guy, he's got more money than me. Oh my God. He always blows it. Well, I, I'm rich. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm rich. I don't need your money. I don't see president Biden begging for money. How about you? No, no. or any of the Democrats, honestly, begging for money. Um, yeah. but that's all that's important to him is money, you know, is status, power, status, money. And now we know he doesn't, he doesn't have it. And any money that he gets is going to be tainted. Yeah. It's going to come back and it's going to cause him more trouble.
So don't but worry. If he gets money, I don't worry. see him in trouble with his health big time. That's the thing, right? I don't see him lasting. I mean, I just don't know that he can last. Well, they just September. showed another thing on YouTube. He did some speech last night, slurring his words, not making any sense. Oh, was that Ivanka? Okay, well, you get the general gist. He's not well. The man is not well. I mean, I don't know how anybody could be well, you know, um, with that in that situation. It was nice to see Biden and Clinton and Obama on stage together. That's something you don't see every day. You don't always see three presidents from the same party on stage together. Uh, I think that that did everybody some good, kind of brought some unity back to us. Right. And and also uh, it makes him show us his health. Makes it makes Trump very jealous. Yes, that's true. That is so true. And all moment. the people who worked for him before, that most of them are saying, I would never. He this for guy real? is a loser. Loser. Biden has an ad out that just runs a clip of all these people, or maybe it's um what are their names? Not Lincoln Project, but Midas Touch has an ad where it just shows of all these people one after another saying he's a threat to society. He's, you know, <laughs> wow. Those he's are no all good. people. That are his people. Everybody's saying he's terrible. Yeah, he's not going to. He's not going to make it, guys. He's not going to make it. And we're going to get the presidency and the Senate and the House. Yeah. And then we're going to get busy. And then we're going to get busy. So you see, like, um, what about Florida? I'm, I'm kind of excited about Florida because they're they're going to have a chance to vote on a women's right to choose. And that'll go and through. marijuana at the same time. I see that going through. Oh, it's going to piss them off. <laughs> it's good. They're going to bring every college kid is going to be climbing out of their dorm going, you know, at the light, like, oh, it's sunny. <laughs> but they're going yeah. to go vote. Yeah, I, I think there's a good chance that Florida could turn purple. I do too. What about that guy that runs your state? Oh, he's terrible. Oh, God have mercy, y'all. That's the worst. Abbott, uh, all of them. Abbott, the Lieutenant Governor Patrick, and uh, the AG Paxton, who, how he maneuvered. He had five federal five federal he paid charges. Somebody money he paid him millions of dollars and he just paid him money and got off it's like what is by the way that guy him? will be investigated they're going to come back with something they're going to come back around right and, yeah. and i don't think he's going to beat the charges that time i think it's going to be i think it has to do with money again money and washing machines if you understand what i'm saying yeah yeah i think he's going to get it again but he should have got it the first time that was wrong we, you know, it's like buying justice flat out in plain day, you know? Right, exactly. How about hurricanes in Florida? You see hurricanes in Florida? Yeah, I guess some do. good sized ones. And going up that coast, South Carolina, North Carolina, I see that too. Yeah. Do you see it coming into the Gulf side and then crossing or going up the Atlantic side? I see the Atlantic side and the Gulf side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I even see one near New York or right above New York. Right. Uh, up to like Nova Scotia or is Newfoundland yeah. up there? Like I see it going up there. Um, we're look guys, like we say to y'all, this is crazy weather. What, if you don't normally have a hurricane, you could have a hurricane. If you don't normally have an earthquake, you're going to have an earthquake. Uh, the weather is really uh, to be really paid attention to. If somebody says, pay attention to the weather, we could be at risk for this or that. Don't blow it off. Pay attention. Right. Because it's just unpredictable right now. The weather is going to be very unpredictable and not in a good way. So, yeah, good things are good. Things are really happening. I mean, honestly, guys, th justice is finally starting to become apparent, I think. Yeah. It hailed in Los Angeles. Wow. It hailed in Los Angeles. This is what I'm saying. Like just crazy, crazy weather. LA's had hail before. Yeah, but, uh, that probably upset people. <laughs> I'm sure it did. The weather part, as the guides have told, I'm sure they've told you and they've told me, look out because that's part of the shifting that's going on. That's part of the shifting. You, 
earthquakes are not unusual. Okay. Eclipses are, you can time them. Right. But the, the main thing that my guide said, even from last year, flooding, lots of flooding and landslides. Even more so than fires, which is interesting. We're kind I of switching into fires, that. More so flooding and landslides. Wow. It's just interesting because some states get a lot of hail, right? That's like a normal thing, like Denver, probably parts of Texas. But California, L.A., probably not very often. Um, so pay attention, especially like with this stuff that Linda's talking about with water, because flooding is no joke. Yeah. It happens very quickly. So pay attention to the, to the weather people. Exactly. Do you see fires in Colorado? I'm not sure that I, I mean, maybe one or two, but I'm not I'm sure. Not I seeing see. them again. Yeah. I'm not seeing terrible, terrible, but I'm, you know, one or two. It is pretty dry there. It feels like. Yeah. Um, I'm really going to hope for good weather in Texas. Just a little clearing about the time of the eclipse. You're going to get, I, I know you're going to see it. I don't think it's going to be long. I don't think you're going to get like, what, how long is it in the sky for? Is it like over an hour? A two, no, no. It's a couple of, four minutes long. Four minutes long. So it must be like an opportunity. Okay. So four minutes. So you might get 45 seconds. You know what I mean? But it's still something. At I least, feel like yeah. you're going to get a peak. But it'll still make everything dark. Oh, yeah. Which is that weird energy. It might like be even cooler. In Oregon, it was so weird when it turned dark. It was like you were in another dimension. Oh, wow. Wow. It's it's eerie to me. It feels eerie. Yeah. It's cool, though. <laughs> She's like, yeah, but it's cool. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, I'll be under the car going, let me know when it stops, Linda. I'll come out. I'm a chicken shit, apparently. Uh, Linda is not. Uh, so maybe one or two more questions. I know Linda's got to got a busy day. Yeah, I got to pack and get rest to go. Get ready to go. I'm and not you're gonna, gonna be bring on. suitcases. I've got sort of a backpack, uh, pajama bottoms, a couple of t-shirts, and then maybe a nice top. I'll wear the shoes I'm gonna wear. Whatever I wear on the plane, I'll wear back, so we don't have to be carrying a bunch of stuff. Travel light. Travel light. There you go. Because can you idea. imagine having to pick up suitcases in this mess? No, you're right. Because you'll just go off the plane, be there, get on the plane, and be back. Have you been to um, that that er uh, earthquake? Have you been to the airport in Austin? Uh, yes, uh-huh. Is the car places we're doing budget? Is that hard to find? Oh, I haven't been there in the last couple of years, and I think they did. They revamped. What it. I'm getting is it's going to be a little bit confusing at first, and because I think there's car, the, car rentals, yeah. But there's a change. There's been like a change. Do you know what I mean? Like it's moved or the signage has changed. I feel like there's going to be a little confusion at first, but then you're going to find it, and you're going to be you're going to get there. You're just it's. I'm telling you, spirit, you. You got like the deluxe spirit version of this travel package because I see you like everybody's like going like this and you're just like yeah, right I'm through, good. you know. So spirit's gonna hook you up. You're you're gonna see mayhem, but you're gonna be like, we're we'll go this way. And there we go. I just, yeah. I just see it. You being, you're gonna feel like that whole thing was divinely guided. Uh, we decided to do this instead of that. We went here. Everything yeah. was finally guided. But we can't count on weather stuff till we're, that day when we're there. Yeah, it's true. I mean, and watch then, the news. I think you just stick with your plan. I think you're going to be fine. Or spirit okay. will tell you what to do the day of. It's when our brain gets in the way that we make all the wrong decisions. <laughs> yeah. 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 Somebody said you could go to the web website, the airport website. But I, I just see you. You're not going to have trouble. Um, okay. somebody says Austin airport is easy baggage claim, follow signs to, um, okay. Denise knows Denise lives there. Uh, thank you, Denise cars at Austin airport are in garage across the way from exit. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So you we're can not walk picking up baggage. So we just walk out the door. Let us know, Denise. I think you just walk out the door. You don't have to take a, a shuttle. Okay, it's just, you, you walk across to the. And what's uh, weird, it's going to be like 
in the 80s, 70s, and 80s, I'd probably be really humid. Oh, yeah. That's not weird. That's normal, girl. Oh, girl, I hate humans. <laughs> we had shorts, girl. Yeah. Um, Austin won't be as humid as Houston. Houston's more humid, so you'll be better off. But I feel like there's some kind of weird cold front because you there is a storm coming, right? So right. bring a wrap because the weather can be like 80 to 50 in a minute. Okay. Um, yeah. Believe it's back up to the second floor, Denise said. Okay. Follow the signs. I think you're going to be fine. Okay. Thank you. And last question. Do you see anything with the Paris Olympics? I mean, yeah, I haven't read I haven't I haven't thought worries. about it. I've had some worries about it. I feel that the, they may catch terrorists or there's some sort of terrorist action trying to take place. I feel that everybody has to be a, alert. Yeah. Can you imagine going to that with all this going on? I'd be like, I'm going to watch it on TV. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Crazy. Um I don't know, girl, if you've got more time, we've got another question. The Havana syndrome, you know about that, right? The, no. uh, oh, this, yeah. The 60 minutes we're talking about it. Yeah. And that weird pulse. It's pulsing. definitely Russia. It's definitely Russia. It's definitely Russia. Like they're like trying to tiptoe around the tulips over here. Um, yeah. But do you think that um, we're going to be able to do anything about it? Not until Putin's gone and he'll be gone. Well, I think you're right. Once Putin's gone, you see us getting a little bit better dictator in there? Because I do see Russia going kind of social democratic, but yeah. not immediately. I not think immediately. immediately it has to lock you down. Because get Yahoo, the whoever the first guy is, and then after that, it's a better person. Feels like a female. That's exactly what I saw. The first person's more like military connected, uh, locked down because there's going to be a lot of unrest. People are going to be going cray cray. Right. And locks it down. And then after that, a female comes in and then it starts to loosen up back again to like more open right he's in yeah. trouble netanyahu's in huge trouble and so is putin both of them i they're all three trump netanyahu and putin all of them are kind of linked in this not so good way very ugly like they're going to go down together or close to going down together right wow well, girlfriend, can you believe almost an hour flew by? I know it flew by. Well, I appreciate you coming on. This, this Thank is a you. lot that of fun. Was fun. I love being with you, especially with you. Big weekend. That's a big weekend. I Travel know. tomorrow. I'll be, with the... and I'll be telling everybody what happened. Oh, yeah. You're going to have I'll to let me know. I'll probably be on YouTube starting a fight in the airport. <laughs> Wait a second. Is that our Linda? I'd be like, this. Don't do it. It's Texas, girl. They armed down here. Oh, hell no. Yeah, uh, but my sons are very, uh, my son is very calm demeanor. The problem is he drives the speed limit, and I worry about that. Because <laughs> people probably come up behind him and be pissed off, but uh, but he would never try to start any kind of commotion. No, I think you guys, I really do. The only thing I see, y'all, is somebody could get sick. Don't be trying to eat no fried Oreos or fried no. Twinkies or some things like that we have down here. Uh, I feel like somebody could get like a little food upset kind of Ooh. thing. Uh, okay. So just to pack some like whatever you need to, to pack for like an upset stomach. Okay. I definitely see that happening. But I, I think I'm telling you, I, I see y'all just slipping through the crowd, slipping through. It's It's really like. You got, like I said, you got the deluxe package. You ordered up the deluxe package of spiritual travel agent. Thank you. Damn. And I most you you can get that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to get that about myself. A lot of people are coming to Texas. A lot of families. A lot of people. A lot of people are coming. They're going everywhere, wherever you are, where there's totality. I have a friend who lives in a small town in Missouri and a small town in Missouri, you guys, but they're in the path. And some group of people from Japan rented the whole hotel. Oh, wow. The whole hotel. They are flying in on a private chartered plane and they rented the whole hotel. So and it doesn't also, matter there's some Southwest are. flight. It's already booked, but that <laughs> wouldn't be a bad idea on a flight to catch it. But Tana just wrote me, you guys, and she said the audio book will be done tonight. Oh my God. That's good news. Is that on Audible? Is that going to be like on Audible or something? How do you get it? Uh, You'll let us know. I I'll let you know. I think you You'll go to buy my book and you'll have the chance to take the option of okay. audio. 
great. But uh, yeah, we booked our hotel a year ago, the car, a year, yeah. everything, and you couldn't get a hotel or a car to save your life right now. You could not. I promise you, you could not get a hotel to save your life or a car or much of anything. So right. get extra gas, get, get all your gas and everything in the beginning. You yeah. Well, I, whenever I rent a car, I always pay the extra that they to get the gas. Cause I don't so want to have to go with it. Get, get extra sodas and water. Just yeah. Case, well, we're know. going to Walmart and I pre-ordered chairs. So hopefully they're there. Oh yeah. I think I, I'm chair. telling you, I just, I think you're going to, you're going to, you're going to have fun. Hopefully you'll, you'll come to us live or post. Yeah. Or I'll something. be taking pictures. I'll be and doing duck it. lips. I'll be doing duck lips. <laughs> you got to get a cowgirl hat. I should have sent you a cowgirl hat. Darn. Good yeah. <laughs> My nephew, he's so funny. I said, uh, let's just do a bag, you know, like a pack, 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 pack. Don't be bringing a lot of stuff to be carrying. We don't want to check anything in. He says, well, yeah, but how are we going to get our 30-gallon cow? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, so that's that so That would be fun. All right, you guys. I love you all. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Linda. And, Thank you know, you, safe, safe, safe travels. And we'll catch up with you on the flip side. Okay, honey. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Take good care. Thank you to our people helping. Yes, absolutely.